So when you were on, you were on another show and you raised a lot of money. Oh yeah. Um, can you, can you talk about that? And, and if you, just- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, uh, well, you're a gamer, so, so you appreciate this. Um, uh, so prevent cancer foundation is located in, uh, Washington, DC, DC. <clears throat> and, uh, they're one of these organizations that, you know, uh, is all about what their namesake is preventing cancer. Hmm. Um, and, uh, the different things that you can do to prevent cancer. And, you know, we talked earlier about, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, how deadly, colorectal cancer can be, but how preventable it can be, it, it can, you know, um, if you're doing the right thing. So that's, you know, that's what they advocate for um, is they really push the bar, um, you know, when, when it comes to like uh, prevention and education and advocacy and, and, you know, hot, hot topics like that. Um, uh, and, and they do this on a, on a national level. And I've done a lot of work for them. Uh, they do a big gala every year in Washington, D.C. Um, that I've been uh, a part of twice. Um, it is uh, ranked as the uh, one of the top five events, uh, must, must attend events. Uh, it, is, it is at the National Museum, which is this unbelievable venue um, that is this giant hall filled with the biggest columns you're ever going to see in your life. Hmm. Um, and, um, and they put, um, they put uh, just over a thousand people uh, in, in there. <clears throat> and it's the, it's like one of their big fundraisers. So, um, so they do that. And, and I've, I've been involved in, in those types of events, but then as other events happen, they, they, they know they can reach out to me because um, uh, I am an extrovert in case you or others didn't know that. And um, and I like to talk uh, and I like to talk about um, things like, you know, like this uncomfortable topics, you know, that people are just like, ah, like, I don't want to talk about colonoscopies. That's about someone putting a tube up my butt. Um, Wait, and- what? <laughs> Scott. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye to the gerbil. <laughs> now I know how I want to edit my colonoscopy video. <laughs> Turn a corner and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm looking for a cheese wheel. <laughs> So anyways, they have this event. One of their uh, big fundraising events is um, Amazing Games Done Quick. And uh, uh, it's a spinoff of of the organization called Games Done Quick, um, which is all about gamers. Um, And these games, like you're talking about, like, like hundreds of different video games. And what they do is over the course of a weekend, they, um, they set up all of these rooms, these chat rooms where people can go in and watch people playing, uh, playing these games. Hmm. Um, and they do that and raise money for prevent cancer. Um, and, and so then what they do is they have, uh, they have sponsors and things (laughs) Mm -hmm. um, that they, that they drop in in between uh, all of this stuff, but then they also interview people and they asked me if, if I would be inter- if I would be interested in being interviewed uh, for it. And I was like, absolutely. And I'm like, what do, what do I need to do to prepare for it? And they're like, uh, well, it, it's a pretty organic conversation. And I go, but it's about gaming. Right. And they're like, yeah. And like, like you can talk about like, like some of your favorite games or a favorite game type thing. And I'm like, well, I'm definitely talking about Sonic. Like, mm. like I love Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. There's ever a game that should be sped up. And the, yeah right <laughs> um so uh so i did uh spike was the guy, guy who did my interview great guy to, to um to interview and um and we just um we we definitely hit it off and like uh we started up the interview and like i told him right out of the gate um you know i was talking about the event and the amount of money it's raising and i said i i, I wanted to be a speed runner and he's like what like you know what that's that, what that is so um so speedrunners are the ones who are actually playing the games and they're and they're doing it at a very fast fast like speed dating almost right mm-hmm. and um and so then we got into the talk there I mean, like we were all over the board kind of like you and i wait a minute um, what is spe- isn't speed running just you're playing a game and it's sped up uh-uh. oh well, no, no, no 
it, it's just it's just a fast version of uh, of the game. Oh, okay, it's a fast version of the game, which yeah, is yeah, not yeah. like speed dating. <laughs> That's why you confused me. <laughs> Wait, because speed what's your, dating. What's your definition of speed dating? Isn't speed <laughs> isn't speed dating when you're when you date when you meet many people in a row and, and then you decide who you want to date? Like, what is speed yeah. dating? What is speed dating yeah. then? Like, well, because yeah, that's right. But you don't I speed think. up the date. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, unless you want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> Here's speed like, dating in Tim's world. Where is the fast like, forward? Hi, how this? are you? What, what, Want to get into the car? Hey, let's go to the movies. Hey, can we have sex? No, we can't. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to go Dutch on that? <laughs> yeah, she's not texting me. Right, <laughs> it's speed dating. It's like speed dating. All right, now I know what speed speed gaming is and speed, speed dating, and, and and speed running. For speed running, yes. Speed runners, yeah, yeah. Um, so, anyways, the, you know, the um, we just like had a, a really fun uh, talk, and then I talked about um, Sonic and like what I knew about Sonic, and you know, like some of the the original music, and um, you know, like things like his boots. Um, which were inspired by Michael Jackson's from uh, from the Bad Album, oh. um, and <laughs> um, know you know about Sonic's first girlfriend. Um, <laughs> that Sonic actually wasn't a hedgehog um, when, when Sega first started uh, creating it. Uh, Sonic was going to be a rabbit. Um, so, so you know, it's like just all these these like things that help the conversation like right move along. anyway it's like people are going crazy in the chat because you got a chat bar that's going yeah well while the interview is going on and people are going nuts and then they're like donating crazy amounts of money as, yeah. as, a, as a result of it it's on twitch um, or youtube i think it was on twitch right mm, makes sense I, yeah I, I think it was on twitch i think i said did I, I sent you the link yeah i think it was on twitch also yeah yeah, yeah. Which I have to tell you something about that. Uh, about twitching? No, about speed running. Because I had never oh. heard of it until you you talked. We talked. We talked. About and you it. said that you said that in our we did we did a little test run, right? Just yeah. To see if like um, like and, and you're like and I, it was so funny. You're like I don't even know what speed running. Yeah. Is. Well, the weird thing is, is that night I was I watched games. All right. Sometimes I watch people play games because I love it. Okay, I do. Do you? I do. Okay. Um, but for the first time ever, a game came on, a, a video came on about a, ma about a, a kid that cheated on speed running, um, guitar hero. And I think these microphones <laughs> heard us talking about it. Cause this happens once in a while. And I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist here, but this happens once in a while, things I've never heard of. And then suddenly that day, later on in the day, I, it pops up in one of my social medias. And That's totally how Google works. You know I, that. But, I, but can it can hear me right now? I'm using this microphone. Where's it? What? Like what's going on? Is it the phone? Is the phone listening? Like what makes that happen? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Like what are, what are the different devices that you have? I have an iPad an iPhone, a microphone going into a PC, um, a sex doll, but I don't think there's a microphone on that. But yeah, I, I thought that was really odd though. Like now you're, now I'm going to get ads for sex dolls on my, <laughs> so I'm not kidding. This happens all the time to me. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to get, you're going to get out a pop up for good stuff now. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, sex dolls, Sonic the Hedgehog, Speed Runner, Colonoscopies. Uh what else are we Oh, I'm going to get a the 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 uh Telly Award. Uh, you're going to get your child taken away from you. Uh Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> right. I'll just get right. I'll just get a knock at the door. <laughs> okay, sorry, Speed Runners. <laughs> oh my god. See, this I'll go off on a tangent, but I'll bring you back. <laughs> oh, you mean like this interview? Uh -oh. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my god we have like we're like literally all over the board but we knew this was going to happen but that's the way it should be that's the way it should be <laughs> i i absolutely agree like i i think i think it's fun that way and i mean that's what like uh well you saw that in the interview that i i did yeah, with, yeah. with spike it was just kind of like oh yeah that all was. over the place like he he had a he had a list of questions and i you know i think he kind of knew he was just going to throw him to the wind because like Right. He may have hit one oh, or yeah. two. It, towards the end, he was like, okay, I have to ask this. Like, 
Yeah. Talk to me about this. Talk to me about this. Type thing, so. so on that show, you told me how much you raised that show, that particular show raised. Uh, that was? interview, um, that, that segment was uh, over a quarter of a million dollars raised. That's insane. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and they raise literally millions of dollars over the weekend. Wow. Like millions of dollars. That's fantastic. Um, but it was really, it was really neat because people are like, um, you know, people were giving everything from, from $5 to a hundred dollars and up you yeah. know, type thing. And, and they would chat about it. Like, um, you know, $5 for, for Tim, for, you know, wh- whatever. I mean, there was some really funny, funny chats, uh, on the side, uh, candy and I, um, actually like read, read through, uh, quite a few of them. Um, I, we found like where you could actually stop the chats and, and manually scroll them because it was just like, they were spinning like a hundred miles an hour. Like people, like they say that they have online at any given time during this weekend, about 3000 gamers online all the time. Hmm. In this, in this particular organization. Yeah. Wow. And that's, yeah. and, and they, and they raise money for, for charities. So they raised money for two charities, so Prevent awesome. Cancer being one of them. And I, I can't remember the name of the other organization that they raised money for, but uh, they raised like equal amounts. So it, it is. Um, Video you know, games are probably, awesome. That's what you mean yeah. to say. That's all there is to it. That's all there is. All these people your, that are saying what? video games are bad. You suck. Video games are awesome. When does that happen with movies? When's that happen with what sports? When's the last time football, I don't know, they probably have. When's the last time football raised a bunch of money for a charity? I don't know of any, but I don't watch football, so maybe it does. You, know, you want to talk about the New England Patriots and what they do for charities? Sure. Is that baseball or football? That's football. Come on. All right. Go ahead. I was just you kidding. know who the New England Patriots are. Yes, I do. I have to because everyone won't stop talking about it, but go ahead. <laughs> They, uh, they being the, the Kraft family who own, owns the Patriots. And this is really Myra Kraft, who was, uh, who was the wife of, she's now deceased. She died of breast cancer. Um, oh, okay. uh, she uh, was the wife of Robert Kraft, the owner. And that was her big thing when Robert Kraft was able to finally figure out the way to buy the Patriots. Is she said, all of our players will not only be our family, but they were also give to a, a charity. Um, mm. And, um, and I believe that she, they, oh, wow, that's great. That well, they got to I'm choose asshole, it. Cause that's, yeah, yeah. that's great. <laughs> um, so, and they raised like, and like, it was, it was expected. Like when, you know, like when uh, Rob Gronkowski, for example, <clears throat> came to the Patriots and, you know, he, you know, you, you got to meet the whole front office and stuff like that. But you had to meet Myra too, yeah. because Myra Myra was going to say, "What charity are you choosing, and how are you going to do it?" Because um, oh, wow. Rob Gronkowski um, uh, raised money for Boston Children's Hospital, and mm-hmm. he would like go. He would go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. He would do wheelchair races with kids. He would oh, wow. um, he would bring them uh, you know game jerseys. Um, he just did all kinds of, uh, uh, amazing things, uh, at, hmm. at Boston children's well, there, um, geez, wow. and, and stuff like that. That's so amazing. Yeah, it is. It is really neat. Wow. But I think that like, um, you know, that's just, that's just teaching them because, you know, the, really they should be set for life when you're, when you're a professional hmm. athlete like that, um, you know, how to be philanthropic, um, mm-hmm. and why it's, and why that's important. You know, the, um, you know, the importance of, of giving back. Yes. Um, or giving to, to, uh, less, um, or someone who's less, lesser has How less, say that? has less than I think is, 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 has, has less. It might be good. Let's go with that. Yeah. Let's go with that. I don't yeah. think they're less. Maybe that might be offensive. Yeah. So there, uh, there's a useless fact from Tim Cavanaugh. 